The officiating minister's message dwelt on Thanksgiving, taking reference from Luke 17, verse 15 to 17. She told the congregation that Thanksgiving is forever and an application for God to do more. She urged all not to relent in thanking God. Loved ones joined him to dance to the altar in appreciation of God's goodness and mercies. There was gift presentation by the church to the celebrant for his support and leadership. Surrounded by family and loved ones, Aluyo's Thanksgiving service marked a celebration of integrity and dedication, reflecting on a period of distinguished leadership and unwavering commitment to academic excellence. As Vice Chancellor, what he did in that university is legendary. Uh, he just positioned that university to become one that is envied among universities in this country. All we have to do is to just continue to thank God for his life. And you know, when you thank God, you're asking God to do more. I believe that he still has many more years of service to society. He has made us very proud. He has worked excellently. He has shown example to the world how a university should be run. The man has done a lot in establishing the university, established so many faculties, and all our programs are accredited. It is said that not how far, but how well. Emmanuel Aluyo says God made it possible. For the number of years I spent, God preserved my life and my family. I'm indeed very grateful to God. And um, it was only fitting that I should invite friends, my family, my well wishers to come and say, God, I thank you for having seen me through these eight years plus. The event shifted to a reception where guests were entertained. In Benin, Joy Igbo, NTA News.